Start to hit the lever, run a cent on their way. Regal Empress was slow to go. First one out is Mind's Eye. Along the inside, Savannah Cat goes off to lead them. They're followed by JJ's Girl. JJ's Girl's only a length and a half off the leader. They're followed by Ray Steiner Chad. Marching Matilda's further back in the run. Gushesh's mid division, about six lengths off the leader. They're followed by Spanish Lady. Then comes Miss Ferris. Forge Mistress is further back, and then comes Leading Lady. And at the back of the field is Regal Empress, and that's 14 lengths off the leader. Savannah Cap, that's making the running, that's the favourite. In second is JJ's Gull, Mind's Eyes out the rail third. In fourth, Gushesh, and then comes Ray Steiner Jet. Further back is Spanish Lady, then comes Marching Matilda, it's got about seven lengths to make up. The others are starting to drop off the pace, that is Leading Lady, and then comes Forge Mistress. But to turn for home, and Savannah Cap leads it. JJ's Gull second. Mind's Eye gets a couple of reminders, then Ray Steiner Jet. Gushesh is on the outside. Savannah Cat still the leader. Mind's Eye goes in for a run. And it's Savannah Cat still under the hands. But Mind's Eye's trying to make a race of it. And then comes JJ's Gull. It comes down to Savannah Cat. Gushesh on the outside. Mind's Eye's flat to the woods on the inside, but it's fighting on strongly. And it's Mind's Eye and Savannah Cat, the last hundred. Mind's Eye, JJ's Gull's running late. Mind's Eye just holding on. And Mind's Eye won it. Second, JJ's Gold Gushesh a third and Savannah Cat fourth. Number 10, the Mind's Eye, still very, very green. The daughter of Visionaire, Dennis Dreyer, Summerhill Stud, and got examined at the start, played up. You see her ears are cocking back and forth, but she finds extra. She wins three quarters of a land. Second will go to JJ's Girl. That's number seven. Third, number one, Gaucher Share. Fourth to number 12, the toad favorite, Savannah Cat. Then Spanish Lady, Ray Steiner Jet is further back. Forge Mistress is finishing about seven or eight lengths off them. Miss Ferris, Regal Empress was slow into stride. So the toad favourite was number 12 and the winner number 10 shows up at 3.40 the win. You'll see Anton, he changes his stick left handed and she's still very green. She starts to drift towards the inside of the track or rather the outside of the track, the right hand side of your TV monitor and mind's eye. She's still trying to learn what the game is all about and then she wins it by about three quarters of a length. A very nice run from JJ's Ghoul who used up a lot of energy but until the running of the fourth race starting off I'll pick six back to the studio. Mind's Eye, the daughter of Visionaire, bred by the Summerhill team, has come good at her third attempt. She'd had the two runs on the poly, and it's always a bonus when they've had the experience on the poly. Yeah, obviously, but she's still very green again. I mean, I still had to get into her halfway around the turn, you know. So, But she's improving all the time, and, you know, with a bit of racing, she, hopefully she'll get a bit better. She only responded late on, distance-wise. You're stepping up to her right trip? Yeah, listen, I think she can, she'll, I think she'll, you know, she'll definitely go further. Just um, very well done to Derek and Mr. Mr. Justa, and well done to uh, Dennis, and, you know, well done to Ant. You know, she, she takes a bit of riding. Well done. Thanks. Well done to Stuart Ferry, the Dennis Dreyer outfit, the Mayfair speculators, the Brookmans and the team had a chat to Anton Marcus and it's a bonus that he's had a winner. He's obviously boxing throughout Dusk Beauty, Place Chance, there or thereabouts and a horse like Night Trip looking for some late progress. But Anton Marcus, he's happy he's on the board with number 10, Mines Eye. He'll be trying throughout the rest of the evening and he'll be looking to hopefully get a second win on the card.